الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا في كما يحب ربنا ويرضى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله والسلام عليه الحمد لله I wanted to make mention today in this nadwa wa nassal Allah an yaj'alaha mubaraka I wanted to make mention in relation to this topic of Ramadan from the angle of kayfa nastaqbilu Ramadan how we should receive the month of Ramadan. <clears throat> so Shaykh Minbas rahimahullah, he mentions in relation to this affair, Ayyuhal Muslimoon, O Muslims, Laqad adallakum shahrul azim, Mubarak. He says, indeed, there has cast over you a tremendous and blessed month. Shahru Suyam Wal Qiyam, a month of fasting and standing, i.e., in prayer. Shahru Al Aut, Shahru Al Aut Wal Gufran, a month of liberation. And forgiveness. Shahru Sadaqat Wal Ihsan. A month of charity and kindness or good deeds. Shahru Yuftahu Fihi Abwab Al Jinan. A month of which the doors of the gardens are open. Watudu'afa. Therein the deeds, the good deeds are multiplied. Fihi atharat and also Kamayakul as they say, in there are obstacles. In this month are obstacles likewise. Shahru Tujabu Fihi Da'wat The month of which therein the supplications are responded to. Wa turfa'u fihi darajat The month of which therein the levels يعني, of the people are raised. Tughaffiru fihi Sayyat, the month of which therein evil deeds are forgiven. Shahru Yajudu fihi Allahi subhanahu wa ta'ala ala ibadih. Bi anwa il kiramat. The month in which Allah the glorified. He bestows upon his slaves various forms of honor. وَيَجْزِلُوا فِيهِ لِأَوْلِيَائِهِ الْإِقَايَاتِ And Allah gives plentifully therein to his party. The Shaykh he mentions, Shahru fihi layla khayrun min alfi shahr. A month that which therein is a night that which is better than a thousand months. Man harrama khayruha faqad harram. And whomever forbids the good therein, yani, then it is forbidden from him or her. Wallahu musta'an. فَاسْتَقْبِلُوهُ 
رحمكم الله بالفرح والسرور and so the shaykh he says ordering us to receive this month may Allah have mercy upon us with happiness and delight وَالْعَزِيمَةُ الصَّادِقَ عَلَى سِيَامِهِ وَقِيَامِهِ and to be determined truly determined upon the fast and the standing in this tremendous month وَالْمُسَابِقَاتِ فِيهِ إِلَى الْخَيْرَاتِ and racing in this month towards good وَالْمُبَادِرَةِ فِيهِ إِلَى التَّوْبَةُ النُّسُوحِ وَالْمُبَادِرَ فِيهِ إِلَى التَّوْبَةِ النُّصُوحِ مِنْ سَائِرِ الذُّنُوبِ وَالسَّيِّئَاتِ He says, And so, take initiative in this month. Take the steps in this month towards sincere repentance from all sins and evil from all sins and evil وَالتَّنَاسَهُ وَالتَّعَاوَنُ عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى and give one another sincere advice and assist one another upon piety and righteousness وَالتَّوَاصِ بِالْأَمْرِ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهِ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And to enjoin with the ordering that which is good and forbidding that which is evil. Enjoin, yani upon one another, the ordering of that which is good and the forbidding of that which is evil. And we say here, and we add here, and don't be concerned with the blame of the blamers. Because one's reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One's reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one's judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't deny that the believers, they judge amongst one another before the day that they will be judged. And we don't deny that we judge amongst one another. Lakin, we judge based upon the book and the sunnah, based upon the fahma the salaf al salih, not based upon one's feelings, not based upon tafkirat al nas. The Shaykh he mentions. وَالدَّعْوَةُ إِلَىٰ كُلِّ خير And calling towards every good لِتَفُوزُوا بِكِرَامَةِ وَالْأَجْرُ الْعَظِيمِ So that we will be of those who win nobility and a tremendous reward. فَبَتَ عَنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه كان يبشر أصحابه بمجيء شهر رمضان It has been firmly established on the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that indeed he used to give glad tidings to his companions with the coming of the month of Ramadan وَيُخْبِرُهُمْ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ أَنَّهُ شَهْرُ يُفْتَهُ فِيهِ أَبْوَابُ الرَّحْمَةِ And he would inform them عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ that indeed the month is a month that which they're in. The doors of Rahma are open. وَالْأَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ 
and the doors of Jannah are likewise open. وَتُغْلِقُوا فِيهِ أَبْوَابِ الْجَهَنَّمِ And the doors of the hellfire are closed in this tremendous month. وَيَقُولُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا كَانَتْ أَوَّلُ اللَّيْلَةِ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابِ الْجَنَّةِ وَلَمْ يُغْلِقْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ جَهَنَّمْ فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَسُفِدَتْ شَيَاطِينٌ وَسُفِدَتْ الشَّيَاطِينُ وَيُنَادِي مُنَادٍ يَا بَاغِيَ الْخَيْرِ أَقْبَلْ يَا بَاغِيَ الشَّرِّ أَقْصِرْ وَلِلَّهِ إِتْقَاعٌ مِنَ النَّارِ وَذَلِكَ كُلِّ لَيْلَةٍ رواه الترمذي and the hadith number is 682. Wabnu Majah. And the hadith number is 1642. Wa ghayrihi ibn Habban wal Hakim wal Bayhaqi an Abi Huraira. Yani. This narration is on the authority of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa hassanahu Sheikh al-Albani rahimahullah where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said when the first night of Ramadan comes about then the doors of the paradise are open and none from its doors are closed. And the doors from the doors of the hellfire are closed. And none from its doors are open. And the shayateen are chained. And so a caller calls out, Oh, one deserving and carrying out good draw near. O oh, one desiring good draw near. And O oh, one desiring evil fall back. Yani withhold. I.e. withhold your evil in this month. And for Allah is the freeing yani, of the people from the hellfire. And this is every night. And this is every night. Naam. That caller calls out, O oh, one desiring good, draw near. And O oh, one desiring evil, withhold. Allahu Akbar. The Shaykh says, Faya ma'shar al Muslimin. O Muslims, Iqtamanu, Iqtanamu, Hada shahr al Adim. The Shaykh says, Take advantage, take advantage of the opportunity of this tremendous month. وَعَظِّمُوهُ رَحِمَكُمُ اللَّهِ بِأَنْوَاءِ الْإِبَادَاتِ وَالْقُرْبَاتِ And hold this month in high esteem. Exalt this month. May Allah have mercy upon you with various forms of worship and seeking closeness يعني, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَسَارِئُوا فِيهِ إِلَى الطَّاعَاتِ And rush, rush therein to obedience to Allah Azza wa Jal. فَهُوَ شَهْرُ 
جعل الله ميدانا ميدانا لعباده because it is a month that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made an arena for his worship subhanahu wa ta'ala yatasabiquna fihi bitta'at racing therein to obedience yatanafasuna fihi bi anwa al khayrat competing yani the muslims competing therein not to impress the people but to impress their Lord who subhanahu wa ta'ala competing therein to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the various forms of good فَأَخْثِرُوا فِيهِ رَحِمَكُمُ اللَّهِ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ وَالصَّدَقَاتِ he says, and so, be plentiful therein. May Allah have mercy upon you. From the likes of performing the prayer. Yani establishing the prayer. And giving charity. وَالْكِرَاءَةِ الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ بِالْتَدَبِّرِ And the recitation of the noble Qur'an while contemplating it. وَالتَّعَقَّلْ And ماذا? Also being careful in reading it. وَالتَّسْبِيحْ وَالتَّحْمِيدْ وَالتَّحْلِيلْ وَالتَّقْبِيرْ وَاسْتِكْثَارْ He says, and also, likewise, يعني, be plentiful with one saying, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. And be plentiful in one seeking forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. With the saying of Istaghfirullah. Wal ikhtharu min as salati. والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم and likewise that one should be plentiful in their sending peace and blessings upon the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم والإحسان إلى الفقراء والمساكين والأيتام And be plentiful in doing good and performing kindnesses towards the poor and the needy and the orphans. وَقَدْ كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ عَجْوَدُ النَّاسِ وَكَانَ أَجْوَدُ مَا يَكُونُ فِي رَمَضَانِ so he mentions that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was the most generous of the people and he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to be the most generous during the month of Ramadan Yani, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known to be the most generous of the people but in the month of Ramadan, he was even more generous than his norm. Even more generous, rather, the most generous than that which he was known to be outside of Ramadan. فَقَتَّدُوا بِهِ رَحِمُكُمُ اللَّهِ فِي مُضَاعَفَةِ عن جود والإحسان. So follow his example. May Allah have mercy upon you in relation to multiplication of 
your generosity, and your kindnesses in this tremendous month. Wahtasibu ajru dalika in dal malikul alam. And that you would anticipate your reward of those deeds from the one who is known as Malikul Alam, Subhanahu wa Taala, as the Sheikh he mentions, Wahfadu siyamukum amma haram Allahu alaykum min al awzar. والآثام. He says, and preserve your fast from that which Allah has made unlawful upon you during the time of your fast. From the likes of various crimes or offenses and various sins. فقد صح عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال من لم يدع قول الزور والأمل به والجهل فليس لله حاجة أن يدع طعامه وشرابه رواه بخاري حديث نمبر 1903 The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as the Shaykh he mentions, surely it has been authentically reported on the Messenger, on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that indeed he said, whoever does not leave off false testimony for those who like to bear witness to things, for those who like to Throw their two cents in. Whoever does not leave off false testimony. And we add here, regardless of who accepts the false testimony, does not change the fact that it's false testimony. If the whole dunya saw false testimony to be the truth, it does not make it truth. Ittifaq la yaj'alaha haqqan. Consensus of false testimony being seen as the truth does not make it true. Wal-amala bih and acting upon this false testimony and acting in a yani, ignorant manner acting in an ignorant manner then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He does not have a need for them to leave off their food and drink The Shaykh he mentions the narration from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Al-Siyam Jannah Fa'idha kana yawmu al-sawmi ahadikum Fala yarfab Wala yaskhab Fa'in Sabbahu Ahadun Aw qatalhu فليقول إني امرأ صائم فقول إني امرأ صائم رواه بخاري كذلك This narration is also reported by Imam Bukhari Hadith number 1904 
where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, fasting is a shield. So when it is the day of one of your fast, then do not Be intimate with your spouses. As the ulama explain, the rafaf. And do not quarrel. And if someone was to verbally abuse you or to try to fight you, then say, indeed, I am one who is fasting. وجاء عنه صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال ليس الصيام عن الطعام والشراب فإنما الصيام من اللغو والرفض أخرجه ابن خزيمة والحاكم في مستدرك في مستدرك في مستدرك وكذلك البيهقي وابن حبان and it's on the authority of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه وصححه شكر الباني رحمه الله where the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said The fast is not fasting from food and drink. And we mention here it's also Yani Hanaka Lab Akhar Laysu Siyam Anil Akli Washirab Washarab. That fasting is not leaving off eating and drinking. Rather, indeed, the fast is leaving off lewd speech and the intercourse between the spouses. You yani need wasteful talk. Lewd speech and the intercourse between the spouses. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La The Shaykh he mentions here a narration a narration from Jabir bin Abdullah al Ansari, رضي الله تعالى عنهما, where he mentions, and this narration again is from Jabir bin Abdullah al Ansari, رضي الله تعالى عنهما. إذا صمت فليصم سمعك والبصرك واللسانك عن الكذب. والمأثم ودع أذى الجار وليكون عليك وقار والسكينة ولا تجعل يوم صومك ويوم فترك سوى He mentions in this narration, Dakrahu Ibn Abi Shayba fi Masanifihi Wajabr he mentions 
when you fast, then let your hearing fast. And let your eyesight fast. And let your tongue fast from kedhib. Let your tongue abstain from lying. And stay away from sin. And leave off harming your neighbor. And so that there will be a state of reverence upon you. And tranquility. And do not make the day of your fast like the day that you are not fasting. Do not make the day that you are fasting like or equal to, rather, equal to the day that you are not fasting. Ayyuhal Muslimoon, inna sawm amal salih azim. O Muslim, O Muslims, indeed the fast is a tremendous righteous deed. وَالثَّبَابُهُ وَالثَّوَابُهُ jazil, And its reward is abundant. وَلَا سِيَمَا سَوْمَ Ramadan. Not to mention the fast of Ramadan. فَأَظِّمُوهُ رَحِمُكُمُ اللَّهِ بِنِيَّةِ الصَّالِحَةِ then you should hold it in high esteem. Exalt this tremendous month. May Allah have mercy upon you by way of having a pure, sound intention. فيه, and working hard they, therein. والمسابقتي, Fihi ilal khayrat and competing therein towards good. Wal mubadira fihi ila tawba to nasuh min jami ibnu was sayyat. He mentions and rushing therein towards performing. Sincere repentance. Sincere repentance. As the Shaykh he also mentions, Rahimahullah, at the beginning of his book that he wrote on the topic of Hajj. From the books that we studied and completed with our Shaykh Salih al Fawzan, Hafidhullah, the first thing. That the Shaykh, Shaykh bin Bas, Rahimahullah, mentions in this book of Hajj of his is that one should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from any sin that which it is upon him or her to repent from before they, what? Before they proceed to perform this tremendous form of worship of Hajj. So we could say likewise. This tremendous form of worship known as the fast of Ramadan, one likewise, as the Shaykh mentions here, to rush towards sincere repentance from every sin and evil. Not to mention, we add, if the sin or evil was of that which falls under the category of kabair, the major sins. Because, yajibu fihi at These major sins, they necessitate, it is obligatory for one to make repentance from them.
He says, Wahdaru ma nahakum. Wahdaru ma nahakum Allahu anhu wa rasuluh. Beware of that which Allah and His Messenger has forbidden you from. Wastaqimu ala ta'atihi fi Ramadan wa ghayrihi. And be upright upon the obedience of Allah. And we add, and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in this month of Ramadan and other than it. Yani, and outside of it. Wattawasu bidhalik. And enjoin one another with this. Enjoin one another with this. Litafuzu bil kirama was sa'ada wal izzati wal najati fi dunya wal akhira. So that you will be of those who win nobility and happiness and might and success in this world and the hereafter. The Shaykh, he says that we ask Allah that He allows us to reach this tremendous month and all of the Muslims to reach this tremendous month and to fast therein and to stand in prayer therein imanan wahtisaban yani upon true faith seeking the reward from Allah azza wa jal he says nas al allah an yum nahuna wa jamil muslimin fi kulli makan fi kulli makan al fiqh fi din He says and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us and all of the Muslims in every place with understanding of the religion. Wal istiqama alayhi and uprightness upon the religion. Was salamati min asbab al ghadabillah wal iqabih. And he also asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us safety from those things that which would cause the anger of Allah and His punishment. كَمَا نَسْأَلَهُ سُبْحَانَهُ أَنْ يُوَفِّقَ جَمِيعِ وِلَاتُ الْأُمُورُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَجَمِيعُ أُمَرَاءُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ أن يهديهم وأن يصلح أهوالهم. He says, and likewise we ask Allah the Glorified to bless all of the rulers of the Muslims and the authorities of the Muslims. to grant them success and to guide them and correct their conditions wa an yuwaffiquhum li tahkim shari'ati Allah fi jami'i umur fi jami'i umurihim fi ibadatihim wa a'malihim wa jami'i shu'unihim and that they would be granted the success to judge by the legislation of Allah in all of their affairs and in their worship and in their deeds and all of their affairs. نَسْأَلَ Allah أَنْ يُوَفِّقُهُمْ لِذَلِكْ عَمَلًا بِكَوْلِهِ جَلَّ وَعَلَى He says and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant them success in this acting upon the statement of Allah, the Majestic and Most High, وَأَنِحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ From Surah Al-Ma'idah. And judge between them with that which Allah has revealed. 
wa amalan bi qawlihi jalla wa ala and also applying the statement of Allah the majestic and most high afa hukman jahilu afa hukman jahilina afa hukman jahiliya tabghun afa hukman jahiliyati tabghun وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حُكْمًا لِقَوْمٍ يُوقِنُونَ Also from Surah Al-Ma'idah, the statement of Allah is wajal. Is it the judgment of jahiliyyah that which you seek? Is it the judgment of jahiliyyah that which you seek? And who is best, who is better? Then Allah in judging for a people who have firm faith. In closing, and we skip some portions here to fit the perceived or the time that which is allotted. In closing, the Shaykh says, هَذَا هُوَ الْوَاجِبُ عَلَى جَمِيعِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ This is that which is obligatory upon all of the Muslims. وَعَلَى أُمَرَائِهِمْ يَجِبُ عَلَى أُمَرَائِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ He says, and this is that which is obligatory upon the leaders from amongst the Muslims. The rulers and such. وَعَلَى أُلَمَائِهِمْ وَعَلَىٰ عَامَتِهِمْ أَنْ يَتَّقُوا اللَّهِ And this is likewise that which is upon the scholars from amongst them and the general people from amongst them that they would fear Allah. That they would fear Allah. وَأَنْ يَنْقَادُوا الشَّرْءِ وَعَنْ يَنْقَادُ لِشَرْءِ اللَّهِ لِشَرْءِ اللَّهِ That they would submit to the legislation of Allah. And we'll stop here. وَسُبْحَانَكَ لَهُمْ وَبِهَمْدِكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَاتُوبِ إِلَيْكَ